What's up everybody, this is Gunter Severlo. Today I'm going to show you how to sign PBO and create a bikey file for your add-on. What I did here is I created a new folder. I put my add-on into this folder for demonstration and this add-on is not signed or PBO'd. It is elsewhere but I'm going to use this for demonstration purposes to show you guys. Now this add-on, uh, as you can see, is not uh, packed into a PBO or has any buy sign. If you open it up, it has a standard config file for what I did for uh, the game. So what we're going to do is we need some tools. And in order to get those tools, we need a program called Arma 3 Tools. So we need to go to Steam. So go to your Steam icon on your taskbar, right click it, then go to library, and in your library, go to library, and then go down to tools, click on tools, and then locate the Arma 3 tools, which is right here towards the top. Install that. I've got mine already installed. And launch, you should have a desktop icon like I do or you can launch, also launch it through Steam. So let's start this thing up and what we'll get is a menu that comes up called Arma 3 Tools with various number of tools that we could choose from. Now in this menu we only need to use two tools and the first tool that we need to use is called DSUtils. So let's click on that and open that up. And what we have here is a small program that will basically create a bikey file. This is all I'm using it for. And we only need to do two things here. Um, first, the address here needs to point to the um, where the bikey file is going to be saved to. So you click on this folder right here. We'll go to my SSD drive, go to the Steam Apps, Common, and then under Common, you should see a folder for Arma 3 Tools. This folder right here, DSS Signed File, is where the bikey that you're going to create will show up. Right now there's no bikey file in there because we have to create one. So you see this here, it says private key. What we're going to do to create a bikey file, because we need a bikey in order to sign our add-on, is we're going to create, click on this button and this N stands for new. So we'll click on this and you get a little box that comes up. And what we have here is uh, authority name is basically the name of your bikey. So I put my abbreviation. You can do it how you want, but this is what I put. I said uh, Gunter Severlo, GS for short, and then what the add-on is, Weapon Zoom. And the destination path, what you're going to do now is once you have your name and the destination path set, you're going to create a key. This will take a second. So create the key. And you'll get this warning that will pop up. It says important. Make sure to protect your private key very well. Only public keys can be distributed with your content to the public. Just hit OK. That's just it's telling you about your key. And now your key should be uh, created. So if you want to check that your key is created, just click on this folder. Locate your Steam folder. So Steam Apps, Common, and then go to ARM3 Tool, and then go down to DS Sign File, and here we have my private bikey key. We don't need to open it. Now, this program we don't need to use anymore. We've done what we're uh, intending to do, so we can just close this. Now is we need another program to 
sign and pack our add-on. So for that we will go to add-on builder. So let's click on that and this big black box will come open up and here we have two uh, directory boxes that we need to fill in. So the source directory is going to be where your add-on is located. So for me it's going to be on my desktop. It's this folder and in a new folder which is this weapon site zoom which is that. So you just need the folder of the add-on itself. Now the next directory is the destination directory or file name with PBO extension. So this means that uh, after this, after you pack your PBO, um, it will also get signed. It's asking you where do you want this PBO, and we want it to we want to put it into the add-ons folder. We we could put it wherever we want, but I want to put it in the add-ons folder, which is here. So that it'll show up here. All right. So once you have that established, uh, don't press this yet. We're going to go to options next. Now, now that we're in options, uh, don't worry about this box. Don't worry about this box. Uh, this is what we need to know: path to private key file. Now, that in the DS Utils program, we created a bikey file, and this address here is basically what you're going to put which is the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 3 Tools, DS file, and then you're going to pick your bikey file as you, as you can see for what I, what I chose. Go into the next box, Path to temp, temp Folder, don't worry about that. Path to Project Folder. The Project Folder is going to be this folder where your add-on is going to be. So I put mine in a new folder and in the Project Folder it is Weapon Site Zoom, as you can see here. It's in a new folder and then it's weapon site zoom. That's what I created. All right, so once you get that set, you could just hit okay and everything else is ready to go. All we need to do now is press pack. Now, what will happen when you press pack is it will sign your add-on and PBO it at the same time. So let's press pack. Build successful. Now, what we can do is open our add-on Go to the add-ons, and here we have this folder now is PBO'd, and it is also signed. So we have a buy sign and a PBO. So once you have this, you don't need this folder anymore. You can get rid of that, and you now have your PBO and buy sign. That's basically it, guys. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, by the way, once you're done with this, you can close it. Close Armor 3 Tools because that's basically it. That concludes this tutorial. So I hope this tutorial helped you. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. I will catch you on the next tutorial.